Pollinators and Partnerships Scientists refer to some wildlife species as keystone species. A keystone species has a disproportionately large effect on its environment relative to its abundance. Such species play critical roles in maintaining the structure of ecological communities, affecting many other organisms in an ecosystem, and helping to determine the types and numbers of various other species in the community. Each keystone species functions as a sort of canary in the coal mine, as an indicator of an ailing or failing environment. The common insects that we refer to as pollinators, the honeybees, the monarch butterflies, the beetles and so on, are keystone species. Today and for some time now, they have been sending us a clear and urgent signal that all is not right in our natural world. Many species of pollinators, including honeybees, native bees and monarch butterflies, are now experiencing steep and significant population declines. As children, many of us were fascinated by the iconic monarch butterfly. But over the past two decades, populations of monarch butterflies have decreased by more than 90%. They are in real danger of extinction. Beekeepers continue to report an annual loss of approximately 40% of their hive populations. These are alarming indicators. Many North Americans do not realize that we currently rely on insect pollination to produce one out of every three bites of food we consume. Of course, population declines are not limited to insect species. Many of the common wildlife species that were plentiful in our youth are today experiencing significant declines as landscapes change and available habitats lessen due to things like urbanization, advancements in agriculture, loss of grassland ecosystems, and increased use of pesticides. Habitat loss, pollinator loss, and wildlife population declines negatively affect us all, and finding solutions to these ecological problems will require collective efforts and investment by diverse groups of stakeholders. Take the example of Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever, for instance, a hunter-based conservation organization committed to enrolling, establishing, and enhancing about 1.4 million acres of wildlife habitat including pollinator habitat, annually. Why does this organization take a special interest in pollinator habitat? Well, it's really quite simple. The critical habitat that pollinator species need to thrive is the same habitat that's needed to support populations of pheasants, quail, and grassland songbirds. This high-quality, highly diverse habitat that provides flowering plants throughout the growing season is what many wildlife species need to flourish, yet find lacking today. Last year, Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever elevated the issue of pollinator health and habitat to an organizational priority, developing a strategic plan to positively impact pollinators, grassland songbirds, pheasants, and quail. The group has also taken important steps towards meeting the goals laid out in the U.S. Pollinator Partnership Action Plan, which was released in June of 2016. For example, the common plant milkweed is critical for monarch butterfly reproduction. This year, Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever planted more than 312 million milkweed seeds across the country. A significant step towards the Action Plan's goal to increase milkweed availability for monarchs by an additional 1.4 billion stems by the year 2020. The group has also established a high-quality habitat standard to ensure maximum benefits for pollinators on as many acres of land as possible. This is another key step towards delivery of the U.S. Pollinator Partnership Action Plan's goal to establish 3.5 million acres of pollinator habitat on private land by 2020. Additionally, Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever have created a film series featuring habitat tips and landowner habitat tours that provide key guidance about the benefits of pollinators and how to manage wildlife habitat for the benefit of both upland game birds and pollinators. These films are intended to educate and influence tens of thousands of landowners each year to provide pollinator habitat in areas ranging in scale from their backyards to agricultural fields. 
Without access to proper seeding mixtures and ways in which to plant them and then to manage these projects, habitat restoration efforts often fall short of their intended goals. To ensure this does not happen, Pheasants and Quail Forever facilitates distribution of pollinator seed mixtures designed by biologists to produce maximum wildlife benefits, while also providing key equipment to landowners to establish and manage the newly created habitats. Perhaps most significantly, Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever, together with a number of other groups, have established the Honey Bee and Monarch Butterfly Partnership, a joint effort intended to deliver critical habitat needs for honeybees and monarch butterflies in strategic areas in the United States. This unique partnership has to date established pollinator habitat specifically designed to produce healthy bee and butterfly populations on 1,708 acres. It assists landowners in making land use decisions to benefit pollinators and has generated a great deal of interest and enthusiasm from many parts of the country. This partnership is also highly meaningful because it serves as a working example of how dissimilar groups can build coalitions for conservation, effectively working together to enact positive change for all. A broad and impactful approach to the environment is necessary when considering wildlife habitat and benefits in the 21st century. This model isn't just fundamental to the survival of our pollinators, but to the conservation of our natural world as a whole, and essentially, to our own continued existence. In seizing this opportunity to work cooperatively with diverse organizations to benefit wildlife in the wider sense, while also serving their own mission to enhance and conserve game bird populations, pheasants and quail forever are blazing a new trail in North American conservation. Hopefully other hunter-based conservation organizations will take note and create other opportunities of this kind. Doing so will demonstrate to a modern public the true conservation potential and the continuing relevance of the hunting world.